Wiggity, 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 what's up, gamers and game fans alike? Mayhem here, coming at you from the survival game. You know the one, it's called Scum. We're here to have some fun today. Yes, I'm trying not to rhyme, but I just can't help it, because I'm so darn excited. We're playing in the best Scum server I've found yet, which isn't saying a lot. I've only explored two or three, maybe four. I've looked at a couple. I titled today... The, Ch the Chinese invasion, because this server is just bereft with Chinese super villain villains. These guys are all over the place. I was doing a little bit of PvP events earlier before the stream when I first woke up, just kind of, you know, sipping coffee, hanging out, talking to some friends, and the Chinese guys were lagging all over the place, man. They're making excuse. Oh my, my internet slow, or my I'm having problems with my net. Yeah, whatever it is, dude, I'm shooting right at you, and then you're not there. And then I'm shooting, and you're gone again. <laughs> whatever. We're here to have fun. I don't care what they do. I'm still enjoying the server. Nothing's going to stop me from enjoying this server. We've got a little bit of cash. We sold off what we had. Ooh, look at this. These are 1.5. These are 1.5. I'm going to sell these hiking boots. I got my Trejo boots back, baby. I can boots. And I'm that much wealthier now. Server's popping off today. I saw over 50 this morning before the reset. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Let's go find some trouble. Shouldn't be too difficult right now. One thing I do want to try to do is make the metal tip wood arrows that Monkey was suggesting. And that shouldn't be too hard. It's just going to be a matter of finding a good place to craft up an axe, cut some planks. We gotta make a toolbox or two. We'll start with just one, probably. I got a couple of nails, a couple of bolts. The basic stuff I need that I can't make out in the woods. Everything else should be easy to produce. And right now we've got a stack and a half of wooden arrows. We've got our broadhead metals for when we enter towns. That way we can be prepared in a PvP situation. Those arrows do quite a bit of damage. Oh gosh, I do love coffee. I get excited drinking coffee. You know what, I've got an idea here. I'm, I'm streaming on YouTube and then it does this thing where it wants me to watch my own stream. And of course I have it muted, but I'm going to turn the settings way, way down. Turn it down to 144p and free up a little bit of bandwidth here. See if that doesn't help a little bit. Maybe it will. Um, I'm still playing with video quality as far as the stream itself goes. So patience and feedback are appreciated. If you see any problems with the stream quality, if there's something you'd like me to improve, do not hesitate to share that with me. I, my goal is to make this stream better one step at a time. And audience feedback is probably the best way. I go back and look at the streams on occasion, try to listen to them, watch them, see how they see how they look, but I can't watch it live, so I don't know how good the stream is in the moment. Anyway, we're going to just run this way for a little bit. I think we'll go up into that glade on the hill there. It's actually fairly close to where our buried kit is, and that's one of our kind of secondary goals today is find some lock picking stuff and get a couple of those boxes one of those boxes at least picked open shouldn't be too hard it's just iron the real challenge is finding screwdrivers i've got bobby pins at hand ready to go i should probably get some more though well these are fine for now until i find a big screwdriver and then we'll really focus on uh having the right number of bobby pins they take up space and since space is at a premium right now Boom. Trying to be careful with it. I love playing with my friends too, man. Yesterday, Pawn goes, hey, I got a present for you. And sure enough, this man comes over with a pack of smokes. I love smoking cigarettes in this game. I don't know why. It's just one of those little things that I personally like to do. And my friends know that. And when they remember that and treat you to something, uh, it just puts a smile on your face. Sets me off in a good mood. Lovely people. Lovely scum community. I can go on and on about that. I'll probably mention it once a stream for the rest of my life. I was looking at my YouTube metrics, and the vast majority of my viewers are between the ages of, like, 25 and 45, 
which I think is great. Uh, I love that we have a, a more mature crowd gathering around this game, and we can uh, we can build a community around that concept of shared interests, mutual respect, you know, all the stuff. I don't need to get all lovey-dovey. It's a mayhem stream. We need more chaos. Don't go soft on me, mayhem. I hear it. I hear it. Let's find some rocks. Let's make a uh, axe head. Axe head. What'd you call me? Did you call me an axe head? Show did. There we go. Yeah, we gotta craft up these arrows because I want to get all the bulk out of my inventory. I want to really trim this inventory down so I can have a good running kit. Oh, if you're wondering where the metal sword came from, that's actually a part of the Chinese invasion. These fellas were just chucking it down on the ground right in front of me, so I snapped it up. And they didn't seem too upset. They each had one of their own. I doubt they're worth much money, so I, I genuinely think that was them just being nice. And I went and used it to cut up some wooden arrows, which they took, and I told them they were welcome to. I was not concerned about it. Wooden arrows are actually free and abundant. So I don't know if they thought they were getting one over on me or whatever. I hope they had a chuckle, whatever it was. I hope they had a chuckle. All right, I probably didn't have to do this. Maybe then again I did. Uh, we need rope. Tree bark rope. And then we're going to make the stone axe. Grab the stone axe. Then we're going to cut down a tree, cut up some planks, make a toolbox. And I think we should have everything, everything we need at that point. Cut down that tree. Yeah, kit is pretty toned down right now. I've got like one bandage on me. If everything goes sideways, it's going to really go sideways because I don't have much for making bandages with. The biker leather jacket I could cut up. We'll get a few out of it, but that's pretty much pretty much it. Everything else I'm more or less using. Um, hello? There we go. Cut you up, baby be a lot better to me in pieces. Flava, flava. Crafting. Do I need a hitting tool? Yeah, we're going to need a club. Easy, easy. Not a problem. Go ahead and make a tool kit. wonder if there's anything on me that I could repair with it. I don't think so. Probably need um, sharpening stone to repair this. I guess I could repair the bow. That's kind of interesting. But I don't need to because I'm here to make arrowheads. Metal arrow tips. Go ahead and craft up what you can. Got two pieces of metal scrap. Man, I thought I had more than that. I must have done something with it. But those two will be plenty. Because that'll make me 12 arrows, right? Um, okay, now... Oh, I see. I'm trying to figure out why I can't make these. I probably have to make... No, I need small wooden sticks. Oh, there's no sticks right here. Sorry. Yeah, this will be good. I want to see how these are, because they're easy enough to get. We could start stacking feathers. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a one-to-one -one ratio, feathers to arrows. And I bypassed an opportunity to search for some feathers on the way here, because I just wasn't really planning. It's my first time making this recipe. Alright, we'll cut you down. We need nine. Nine sticks. Nine? That looks like it'd be three. We're going to do this two more times, then we'll just drop this stone axe. It takes a couple minutes to make, but it's not worth carrying around. So if we need another one, we can just make it. 
And it's not really an if, it's a when. What with us having that chest over there at all. And maybe it... Thought I heard someone walking. I'm just going to continue with thinking here and not worrying. Uh, maybe at some point I'll make a chest over near our buried chests just for putting a hatchet into or an axe or, you know, some type of tool that we need to cut trees down with. It might make things easier. And then we'll leave that one unburied and only moderately hidden in a bush. All the foreign speak, man. I wish I spoke Chinese right now. It's not a skill I ever acquired. But it would come in handy in moments like these. I can't even imagine how you begin to type like that. Alright, we're going to drop these arrows. We're going to pick up just the metal tips. Boom, nine of them. I don't want a half a stack, but... Okay. That means I'm going to drop this and the nails and the stone axe. Might as well put the socks on for right now. It's going to get dark soon, so we'll put the, the jacket to use before too long here. And we can repair our bow, which we might as well do. Ain't going to hurt nothing. And we're looking... Mighty fine. Hmm. Let's put this credit card right here. Oh, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. All right. Where to? Let's go down to this little town in A4. That's gonna be southeast of us. That's probably something like that. A little hard to navigate with this compass and only one reference point, but it can get you going in the in a broadly correct direction. Then the thing to do is look for landmarks, or just watch your trajectory on the map. I'm curious, what is my current weight? 16 kilograms. That almost makes me want to drop this sword. Boom, we're dropping it. Put the cleaver on our back. We're going to drop these arrow tips, too, I think. Uh, you know what? No. I'm not going to drop them. They could actually come in handy. I do need to start eating the rice, though. That's going to go bad if I don't eat it. And then if it goes bad, I just wasted it. It's been in my pack all this time, taking up space and adding weight for no reason. Can't have that. 78% performance score is pretty nice. This is one thing I don't understand. Why is my exhaustion going up so fast on this server? Thought I saw a drone for a second there. Oh! Deathmatch cage. Okay. Brawl? Let's do it. Don't... Oh, I was going to say you don't have to tell me twice, but... I didn't have time. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? I think the axe is a decent option. The bat's going to be pretty quick. Yeah, we're going to do the axe. <laughs> okay. All right. Got to get my feet underneath me here. There we go. This is really good practice for our knife fighting. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, he got me. He got me. I got a couple in there, though. Oh, I love this. This is my favorite part of the game. Oh, 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 I got killed. What's so great about these events besides fun? Fame. Experience. Character. Development. Boom. I think I ran out of stamina or something. That last click didn't register. Let me lower my DPS again. Oh, yeah, that was a that was a trade right there. Pretty good. I like the axe, man. It'll one hit every time, huh? Oh shoot, the bat one hits too? Maybe that's just a feature of this deathmatch. Come on. Oh, there it is. wonder how I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Oh, that was brutal. Sometimes that happens. You spawn in, you get killed. I did that to a guy. Okay, Beowulf. That was fast. Oh, wow, I walked right into that one. Okay, not doing so well anymore. This is too fast paced to even check the score. Wow, dude. That's not fun. I wish it would let me check. It won't let me check. I'm trying to press tab and it's not opening up. <laughs> Dang, EQQ and I keep trading. That's not helping my KD, is it? That looked way too far away. Come on. I can't swing. Dang it. Swings were feeling really slow right there. I don't know why. Trade. Man, these last a long time. These events, 
the the ones where you're using guns feel a little bit better paced. This one seems like it's taken forever. It doesn't help that uh, spend most of the time respawning. Oh, he should have killed me right there. Okay. Let's try something a little faster, maybe. A little less reach, a little faster. Let's see what this is like. It's still one hit. Oh, it's over. Oh, I could have won that one. Nice. Hey, we did pretty good, Beowulf and I. That was fun. See if Cassandra. I think Cassandra's Ivor. Still upset that people are killing her or him. Hey, come on! You gotta know by now. That's just the way the game goes. I killed you once for no reason. Called scum. All right, let's get in there. Let me have his back. What do you want his team? What a chaos. Dang it, I don't understand. Oh, my reach is terrible. I don't understand why that was missing. Why was that missing? Very, very frustrating. I've got no stamina. I can't hit anything right now. Come on. I don't, I don't, I'm about to give up on this event. Can't land a punch. It's very annoying. Very, very annoying. I don't understand why I'm not landing them, which also hurts. And, and the rubber banding. Goodness gracious. got zero health. Dang it. I don't think I've gotten a single kill yet. Come on now. This guy. What's going on with you? She's kidding.
Stealing my kills. I was working on Cassandra for a hot minute. This is. I don't know how much fun this is, I'm gonna be honest. Kinda sucks. Another thing, can you choose between kicking and punching? Is there an option, a way to do that, or is it just random? Because you'd think that would be something you could control. Dang it, stop stealing my kills. Can't get a kill. I'm doing all the hard work here. I don't even feel like I'm doing that badly. I just can't get a point on the board. Very, very annoying. I, do, I don't like the MMA event. I think I would enjoy it if it was 1v1, but this, this free-for-all thing kind of sucks. And for some reason, I can't open my tab menu to see what the score is. Also, kind of sucks. I don't think I'll do another one of these. Unless it's a 1v1. stamina here. Just cons conserve stamina for a minute. Come on. Get out of there. Right in the face. You know what it probably is? I think Beowulf's probably stronger than me, and that's why he keeps getting the kills. Long ago, it's very strong. Wait, what the? That's stupid. Just comes over and kicks me and I can't block it? Mm. Definitely need to build my strength up. Okay, okay, I see what happened here. Yeah, I want to do more brawling. I enjoy brawling in general, but the free-for-all brawling kind of sucks. Alright, alright, alright. How did that miss? <laughs> you gotta aim directly, like, spot on to their face. You can't get close. You gotta be right on their head. Let a 
man combo, would ya? Got one, finally. Let's go. Build the stamina back up here. Come on. Let the stamina come up. I wonder if the events add to your exhaustion. Can't see through the lag, my dude. He's got long arms. He was way back there when he hit me. Okay, let's back up, recover some stamina. You have 30 seconds left. Beowulf's in pretty rough shape right now. See the condition of her clothing? Okay, none of those punches are landing. Left. That has to be a desync thing, because it was clear as day. Ten, good aim on nine, my screen. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Dang it. Still can't open the tab menu either. Don't know how much I like that. Gonna maintain. I, I don't think I enjoy that much. Look at that. I couldn't get... I got one kill that whole time. 13 assists. Stupid. Highest assists, lowest kills. All right, we are going southeast, which is, hold on, let's try this. That's north, which means that's south, and that's east. This direction should do it, right? Yeah, that looks about right. There's a road on our left. Yeah, they want to keep doing it. I get it. It's kind of nice bringing up the brawling skill, too, but, uh... Is no time like the present to kill your friends. And we're building up fame points like this. And I want to see... Metabolism, brawling went up, right? Uh, rifles, we hit medium proficiency. Handgun went up. I mean, it's it's pretty cool having that capability. My melee weapon skill, I took a, a high melee weapon skill planning on doing some knife fighting and, and boxing and stuff, but I guess I was wrong about that because boxing is brawling. It's a separate skill. Try the HS9 for a secondary. I don't know how many rounds it holds. I want to check. 16. Alright. We're going to treat one of these at least so we can get the medical skill for it too. Alright, we're not sweating this one right now. It's not about winning it's about building up skills we're at 1526 what are we going to be at when we finish this oh do i hear somebody Easy. 
and I died. Worth it. Open up. That worked out. Looks like it's just three of us in here right now. Oh, oh. Wow, that was lucky. Can I get the tourniquet on before I die? I think so. Losing health slowly enough. We should be able to get this on. Come on, we need to get medical skill up. Really need to get it up. Circling. Oh, somebody was in here. Or that was a suicide. I want to pull the shot off. I want to shoot out from here. Such a crazy spot. Suicide? What? Oh, because I had no health. Fair. Boy, those flashbangs really do some damage on this server. Or on this game, rather. Playing, played some games where they last like a half a second. This one, they last like 15. It seems like it's forever. Alright, Beowulf, I'm coming for you, buddy. Nope, there's no window in that bedroom. Got him. Stock. Stock. Oh my goodness, so slow.
fair, fair, fair. I knew he was right there. He knew I was there too because I opened the door. Came around the corner shooting. Fight for the police station. Run them little circles. Okay, where's everybody? Stand up, please. Dang it, I definitely put a round or two in him at least. Definitely put a round or two in him. Over the obstacle. You have 30, you have 30 seconds, seconds left. left. Come on. Where are you? You have 15, you have 15 seconds, seconds left. left. 10, 9, 8, eight. Seven, seven, six. Dang it. I was out of ammo. Should have switched to my secondary, but I tried to beat him. I saw him healing. Game over. I think my grenade actually damaged him. Nice. Three headshots. Let's go. 127 fame points, baby. Little bit by little bit. Tons of fun, man. This game's great. Okay, what's next? We're gonna try and loot through a town. We've got 50 people online. Um, do we wanna do a cage match? Not right now. We'll do more events later. I'll be right back. I need to take a bio break.
Alrighty, I am back. We all know how coffee does it, right? With this many people online, I'm really hoping we might see some action in the next town. And I think it's a distinct possibility. I don't know how popular any of these towns are, but they're all so close to the B4 trader. You have to assume that they get some action. Let's check. Is the exhaustion going up? Maybe? I can't tell if the events hurt the exhaustion or not. Same bush. Uh, it would make sense that the events add exhaustion to your character. Definitely would make sense. What doesn't make sense is why I'm so exhausted right now. I don't feel like I've put that much time into the game since I last logged out in a bed. I don't know. There we go. A couple of olives. 52% on the energy levels, so we'll just eat up all of these. And I'm going to start eating the ones in my inventory, too. I'm going to stop carrying all this food. I was carrying a whole bunch last night because I was rolling with my buddies. And I wanted them to have food if they needed it. But I think we're all the sort of people who are like, eh, I'll fend for myself. You don't have to worry about me. Fame points, 127. We are climbing pretty steadily. Which is neat. It's nice to know you can play the events and game, gain fame. That means if I die, it's not really that big of a deal. To just play more events, which I plan to keep doing anyway, and gain fame like that. And build skills. It's almost OP that you can get rifle skill from the events. It makes sense, but it's almost OP. This door is closed. We're here mainly looking for screwdrivers, right? I don't hear any zombies yet. No puppets. It's a good sign. On a server like this, with this high a population, for the most part, when you're solo in towns, you don't see puppets. So if you start seeing puppets, it means there's a couple of people around. At least one, probably. Maybe more. Well, give me a screwdriver. Search to you. Screwdriver, please. Hello? Anybody here? Is that a boombox? Hmm. Raid your seat. Good money, not worth the carry. Oh, I need to fix my squat. Or my crouch, rather. I guess it's not a squat, it's a crouch. Let's hit the pharmacy. We'll definitely hit the police station, too. No puppets, no players, huh? Where does everybody hang out? I don't get it. Does everybody have a base that they just stay in 24-7? We definitely need a mechanic in the game to switch between arrow types and ammo types. At least arrow types. Alright, I should be able to press R to cycle through arrow types. And you can't do that. It's pretty common to have multiple arrow types, one for players, one for puppets, or even if I if I had the easy ability to switch, I would use the regular crafted wooden arrows for most puppets, and then whatever better arrow I had for the puppets with armor. That would help so much. Make the game a lot better. Just a little change that would make a big difference. Painkillers? Uh, 
magnifying glass. I don't think that's worth very much. Vitamin pills, though. Painkillers and vitamin pills, those are worth money. Probably five, six hundred bucks right there. I'm hoping. I don't think I usually find screwdrivers in boxes like these, but who knows? I'm not keeping track that well, so maybe I do and I'm not remembering. I'll keep checking at any rate. Is this one of the places that has a garage built in? Maybe not? Yes. Yeah, okay. Hey, crow. Cool. Come on in, my friend. If you want to join me in the in the Discord, feel free. Out of nothing here. But of course, I'm mainly looking for just screwdrivers. Oh, that's a big shovel. Three dinner run. Longer after. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's kind of what I'm doing here. It's my pre stream before the long stream tonight. We're going to do a base raid tonight if everything goes well. And I don't see why things wouldn't go well. Get Echo in on that and then try and bring him over here eventually. Because I think we're probably just about done with O1. Everybody seems to be having more fun on this server anyway. And considering I just keep announcing it, <laughs> everyone knows where it is now. Need a raid base for this ser this server? Like a place to put together supplies, you mean? Or don't really need bolts right now. Come on, give me a good screwdriver. I need a nice black and yellow. Yeah, I think Ghost is gonna handle that. I just let him make all the base building decisions at this point. That's his speciality. And a spawn location. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Gold is not too expensive, really. Of course, I don't know what it goes for on this server. I haven't checked yet. The expense of gold is that initial expense of buying the, um, the, the, the what you call it there. I got an idea. Put this here. I'm going to go back and get that shovel. Buying that gold card for $5,000 or whatever it is. Where was that shovel? Is it this? I searched this, right? Nope. Flares and matches. Oh, how much does this weigh? 40 grams versus 135. Yeah, we're switching to matches. Lighter is an unnecessary added weight. That's more matches. And it's only 10 more grams. And that's good. I'm happy with those now. I'm backtracking. Looking for that little... Well, it wasn't really little. That's why I left it behind. But that spade... I don't remember what I did with it. Guess I could have been paying more attention, huh? Yeah, spawn location's a good point. Definitely a good point. Good afternoon, Phil. How are you doing today? I don't know how much time I'm going to spend looking for this thing. I lost it. That's all there is to it. 
Was it in here? I give anything for a glass of ice cold water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. We'll get you a drink in a second. Find the shovel first, and then I'll let you drink, okay? It was in here. Yep. So here's what we do. We move the cleaver back in, shovel on the back so it's not taking up all that room. And we're going to eat some olives. Eat, eat, eat. Oh, I'm doing great today. Feeling good. Really enjoying streaming. Started making some short form content. And uh, I'm enjoying that. I think it's a ton of fun and it kind of spices it up a little bit. Incentivizes me to be a little bit more interactive with the people on the server. So I can get those clips and have those moments. Alright, let's drink a little bit. And then we put our mask back on and keep looking for screwdrivers. We've got a chest we need to break into. We did a, a small base raid on the new server last night. Lock picked a door open and stole whatever wasn't bolted to the ground, basically. Which ended up being two chests, one wooden, one iron. They're both locked, but I know I can get into them if I get enough attempts. I'm pretty decent with iron locks. Part of it is the warm-up, though. I just have to I have to get myself back into that lock-picking mindset. Did I just hear a player? Hmm, I don't think so. Yes, screwdriver. Those gas cans are not worth anything. Like, surprisingly worth very very little wire cutters however are worth a little chunk of change take that is there a lead plate back here oh no it's rag strips Somebody's definitely been through here. There's always food on these shelves. And whoever whoever came through here is doing like I'm doing. They closed all the doors behind them. And unless they're being a very patient camper, I think they're probably gone now. Although I keep hearing a weird, unlikely sound that I really don't like. It sounds like a single footstep at a time, like I'm being carefully stalked. But there's been a, a thing happening in the game the past couple of days since the update where my footstep sounds continue after I do a vault or a jump, and it might be that happening. It's difficult to tell right now. I definitely hear a sound that I don't expect, something that violates my preconceptions. We can't let it stop us, though. Just gotta be cautious. This is cool. I definitely want this toolbox. We're gonna go to our buried boxes next. Without a doubt, we're gonna hit the buried boxes. Found some decent crafting materials here. As far as, like, early game base building goes. I'm sure Ghost is gonna want to put this stuff together. Not gonna find screwdrivers in here, am I? Motorcycle mask, not really too interested. Water bottle. Okay. This town's been alright. We got three screwdrivers so far. I would genuinely like a couple of more. Erg. Gotta slide everything up now. There we go.
Eat, baby, eat. Really doing okay on food. We've got rice and cereal. But I can't pass up a fresh olive. I am a fan of the olives. I like an olive garden. Is a flag necessary? That's a big yes. Okay, we'll start collecting feathers here. If I do like these arrows, it'll be nice to have a bunch of feathers at hand when I need when I need to craft more. Of course, the bot. Whoa! Ew! Stinks in here. Goodness, great. Keep that closed. The bot arrows are not very expensive, and they're a little bit easier than crafted arrows. Sigh, annoying. Oh, people. People don't understand games. Yeah, I guess it's annoying, but you also don't want player bases everywhere. Right? If you didn't have to put a flag down, I could just get the materials together, together to wall off an entire town. That would be even more annoying. But nobody thinks about that. No, no, no. We're just going to get annoyed about the thing that we can't do right now that we want to do. I'm not surprised. Cassandra's been complaining that people keep killing her. Hey, you, you realize you're playing scum, right? There are PvE servers if you don't want that to happen. Alright. I think we're getting around the other side of the town now. There's... A little bit, maybe, that I didn't hit on the other side of the police station. But yeah, I've been through all this. I'm not really going through the interiors of the houses. I could be missing stuff in there, but it's a lot of time for very little payoff if you want to go through every single structure. Since we got food and water and all the clothes we need, as you can see, we got our gloves, we got our boots. I've got my murder pants right here. But I don't need them yet. Main thing is, check for landmines before you go in. More than once I've seen a landmine in front of a door at a police station on this server. I am not picking those locks. I'm saving these lock picks for the player boxes. Which kind of hurts my achy breaky heart. I want a pistol. Ooh, my favorite. Ooh, what do I do? I need to make room. Get rid of this. We don't need it. Oh, I can put the mask on, too. There we go. My favorite kind of sacrifice is the kind you don't have to make. Yeah, I'd like to find myself a handgun, especially since I have the fame and money to outfit it. But... Even more than that, I want to answer the mystery of, oh my gosh, a Scar DMR magazine. That's got to be worth a couple of bucks. And arrow tips are free. Sorry, boys. Compass. Ooh. Oh, I could put that on under the mask. Layers of creepy. I love it. Okay, now we're officially going to ditch this. Hold on. Let's try to repair some things. Maybe we use up... No, that's it. That's all we have to repair, huh? I guess I could repair the sporin bag and the gloves just to make the room. I've got another sewing repair kit, so I won't miss this one once it's gone. Take in hand. Make sure this is the one we use. Everything else is in really good shape, but I, I genuinely want this compass right now. My awareness is... Far too low. Or it's not awareness, is it? It's survival. Um, okay. The time has come. Murder pants are going on. Bird shot. Diary. Don't really need that. I searched you, right? No? Now I have. surprisingly quiet, man. I'm telling you, right now there's there's 43 people online and the only place I've seen anybody in the last, like, two days is at the trader. How does that even happen? Kunai. 
another compass. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and come across a puppet. And we could, ha, 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 kill it. No one at the trader now? Are you at the B4 trader, my friend? Yeah, it's super strange. I thought there was going to be people crawling all, all over every town, but unless I sit and wait, I tend not to encounter people. B4, okay. Hey, that's cool, man. Glad you made it on over. Oh, I found a whole dollar. I'm rich, bitch. What's that? Is that a pan on the ground? Oh, good. A couple of magazines. I need to make room for these. Uh, I think you're going to get priority over the lead plate. Just going to be honest with you. And, oh, wait. I have pants on. I forgot about that. Pants that I can't fit anything into. Here we go. Now my carry weight is definitely going up. Oh, gosh. Gosh, gosh. kind of want to try one of these lockers, because if I found a shotgun right now, I would be the most dangerous man alive. Or at least a relative of his, like the ugly stepsister that nobody talks about. We're going to gamma boost here. It's starting to get dark. I made more changes to my streaming setup. Is there is there any noticeable effect on, on your end? The videos that look all right? Skipping or anything? ready to make more of these arrows make them for everybody it's a good thing man crafting up these arrows one of the nice parts about it is it's a it's a few steps to actually make that happen which means i'm building up my survival and maybe engineering seems fine after closing stream it tends to be stuck yep okay now we're getting to the real decision territory. How bad do I want whatever I have here? I almost need another bag. Oh, I could put the jacket on. It's cold. Let's go. Things are working out right now. And if I hop bar this to number five, I think I can just press G and throw it, right? Boom, that's all we're going to get out of this. It's all we can fit in the jacket right now. It's going to be topped right up. This tends to be stuck. That's weird. Let me make sure. I have dropped 99 frames, but that's 0%. 0.0% 0 .0 of the frames I've transferred or transmitted. Really just a bit of a sneeze, that's all that is. A chew. Oh, did I miss this garage? Come on, baby. This is where the yellow handle is. No, no, no. I've been through this one. Dog on it. I would trade somebody else's firstborn son for a screwdriver right now. That's how serious I am. Alright. Well. This is our direction, right? We need to go... No, no, no. That's perfectly wrong. West. West. We need to go northwest. Yeah. Oh, it's nice having a compass. Sometimes even two of them. Hey. Hey. I did hear that horse, if you're wondering. I don't have room in my backpack for horse meat, and I'd rather just eat cereal and rice for right now than cut up a horse and have to carry it all the way back to our chests, build a fire, cook it, so on and so forth. If the whole squad were together, or two or three of us, maybe we would bother with hunting it, 
I hunted two chickens last night, and by the time I decided I would sit down and start cooking them, the meat had spoiled to like 50%. I decided it wasn't even worth it and threw it on the ground. It happens very quickly, unfortunately. Yeah, 37 kilograms. It's good for our strength, though. Oh, no it's not. We need to add protein to our diet. Oh, can I fit you in here? Ah, a little too heavy, huh? Oh boy. Yeah, we need to we need to get those proteins up. Maybe I should have taken the time to get the horse. But what I can do most definitely is buy some fishing supplies. I got pretty decent at fishing on the other server. And I already have a pole stashed away, so I just need everything else. Need a couple handfuls of rice to go with that cereal. It's going to boost up carbs a lot and sugars maybe, but it's giving us some protein at least. And I really don't want to lose strength right now. Need I need to gain strength. I should probably try and keep an eye out while I'm running for mushrooms because I think there's at least some protein content in mushrooms. Oh, I could have been dropping sweatpants too. Didn't really need to. I don't think we sacrificed anything. Okay, we're going northwest. We're going to go unbury our chests, do a little bit of inventory management, make a couple attempts at lock picking one of the chests that we found. And then we'll take a trip into town with some of the things we have to sell here. Turn this stuff into fishing supplies so I can have protein. And everybody else can too. And this is early stages on the server, so character development integral. Everything I'm doing right now is aimed towards leveling my character up. All those traits, they need to rise. The only one I could sacrifice is intelligence, because it's very, very hard getting that up. So I'm not too worried about focusing on it at this point. I still don't think I'm seeing any mushrooms. kind of wish they would do the blue awareness highlight. That would be nice. Okay, we got four grams of protein in us. If I have to buy a biltong, I will, but fishing supplies are definitely the goal. Oh, that can go here. Why do I feel like something's missing? Need some water. Drink, baby, drink. Still going up. Rice, olives. I don't think there's a lot of protein in olives, is there? Yeah, basically nothing. Hello? Hello? Oh, my mask. Murder mask. Must be wearing it. It's a mandate. Yeah, I guess if we do put down a flag and um, and some cots or whatever, we're going to have to pick a decent hiding spot. That's going to be tough around here. Very tough. I did overtake a flag. I think probably it's still ours. I'm hoping somebody else overtakes it so I can place down a new one. Let's see what happens here. I've never tried this. Never played with being the squad leader before. Double flag. Yeah, see, I own a flag somewhere, and I, I don't remember where it is. It was a bit of a goof. I just hit the overtake button as a kind of joke. And now I don't know if that flag will ever disappear or not. And I'm not sure if I can ever find it again. Because I genuinely don't remember where it was. I think I did it on stream. I could try and dig through the archives, try and find it. It was most certainly after a fresh respawn. There's no other reason I would have been in the woods running like that. 
but uh, yet it escapes me. At this point, I have no recollection. It was a throwaway thing. I just walked into a base that was falling apart and laughed about the fact that the flag was right there, overtook it, and walked away. Hey, I can see, see that little flash of blue up there? Is that coming through? That's where we're headed. Go ahead, catch your breath, big guy. I know it's a lot of work running like this, isn't it? You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay, just catch your breath. Deep breaths, in and out. There we go. You ready? Ooh, it sure is nice up there. When do we get the space update? I want to ride a rocket to the moon. I think they said that's coming soon, right? That's part of the, the 1.0 release. It's going to launch from the, the C4 area. Not C4. Um, oh, this, this map doesn't have it. This is a safe zone on the other server. One of them must not be official, right? I would think the official servers would all have the same settings. You don't think they're going to add that? Why would they lie to us, Crow? Why would they lie to us? It's not a game without a little bit of space travel. Yeah, this safe zone. There's a safe zone on the other other map up here. Space makes no sense. I know, it makes no sense they wouldn't give that to us after they promised. Leave beyond the wall? Yeah, but... We can only go straight up into space, right? You can't go left or right into space. You have to go straight up, so you still don't leave the wall. This is simple stuff, Crow. I know you understand this. Lame. <laughs> okay. Ooh, big stretch. We are digging up one of the chests that we liberated from that gentleman's house. The gentleman whom I shot through the window yesterday. I thought at the time he was crafting, but I went back and reviewed the footage. And now that we've been inside and seen what he has in there, I'm pretty sure he was just moving a wheelbarrow back and forth to level up his character. I think that's all that was. Alright, we're going to take our gloves off. We're going we're gonna to really give this a proper go right now. Uh, what do we have? We got a 3 out of 4 lockpick and 3 screwdrivers here. Dang it. Oh my goodness. Why do I feel like I'm struggling here? What is my... Maybe that's the problem? Does going from basic to medium make that much of a difference? I definitely feel like I had an easier time of it on the other server. And that might be the, the, the difference, really. I'm going to have to get a lockpicking board. Whether I craft it or buy it, I don't really care. I don't think they're all that expensive. But I just have to get that skill up. It's such an, such an integral part of my gameplay. Although... That said, I busted into that guy's house, and that was an iron lock, so I think the real problem is just getting warmed up, setting the mindset right. Go ahead, finish. There's not all that much in this chest, but I really want it. Whatever is in there, I want it. Too bad you can't chop logs with a cleaver. Got 
that down into small sticks. Yeah, that's bringing our survival up little by little. Tree bark rope. Make another improvised axe here. So we could chop the logs so we can dig up the chest. Although, you know what I haven't tried? I don't think I've tried. Let me just try this before I... Yeah, I cannot unbury it. I can remove the lock, the lock for some reason. But you have to cut the tree. Small stone axe head. At least we don't have to make a shovel this time. I'm happy about that. Skill building. Now let's see about this. Our sur no, that's sniping. Survival's at six eight four two one. Does cutting down this tree? add to survival at all? It does. Chopping trees. It's good for your survival. Get out there and do it. Wait. Why am I... Why am I doing this? I thought I was, I was in autopilot mode. Getting ready to make my own shovel. What's wrong with me? I brought a shovel so I wouldn't have to do that. Murder trophy box. Mm, we gotta get more BCUs, man. We gotta find more players and chop them up. Find players, claim kills. That's my motto. Good afternoon, Gary H. I'm doing it for the lols. I hope you're laughing. Because then it was not for nothing. Thanks for joining us, as always. Much appreciated. I'm over here just getting exhausted, working well beyond my means. My exhaustion flies up as I starve to death. We did finally get some protein in us at least. And uh, we just rolled over 2.8, so it's going to be a while before we hit 3.0 on our strength. Keep working towards it, one little step at a time. There we are. What have we in here? Is that my combat helmet? It's not worth selling because it has no value. It's barely worth keeping because it's falling apart. Here, I'm going to add my $1 to this bit of cash. Who's starter bank card? I think this is Ivor. We're going to take this into town. If this is Ivor's, we're just going to destroy it because that character was deleted and remade. Uh, what else are we going to keep here? I guess, oh, the feathers, look at this. Somebody has been collecting feathers and they don't know that you can stack them. So aren't we ever gonna surprise them when they come and find a whole 10 out of 10? Stack of feathers right there. Isopropyl alcohol. Put this back on. Uh, the shovel. I guess I'll take and sell. All right, anything else here that we need to keep? MP5 mag. I, if I was these guys, I'd be selling all this stuff right now. I don't know that there's any point in building up supplies right here. If we're going to build up anything, crafting materials makes sense to me, but like guns and ammo and a little wooden box under a log, I don't know. I don't think we're really at that point personally. I got a 15 out of 15 sewing kit here, so we're gonna we're gonna throw this into the mix. Let's just separate crafting materials for a moment and see how that looks. All said and done, what else have we? Threads. Let's do this. It'll be easier. Put them in my backpack and then move them over. Uh, 45 ACP, huh? A 1911 mag. I mean, I see I see that we could eventually end up with 
some kit in here, I guess. I don't know. Seems a bit futile to me. Work and lurk while you try and get some work done? Hey, no problem, man. Glad you could pop in. Lurk is always appreciated. Yes, sir. Okay, we got another feather here. Combine it with this. Boom. Got 12 feathers now. You just posted a video of what you are doing, huh? Oh, that's quite a blade, huh? I think I understand the name of your channel there, Garden Forge, right? Very cool. Big sword, yeah, yeah. Nobody's gonna mess with you, man. Walk softly and carry a big stick. Okay, the rest of this I'm, I'm going to sell. They can keep magazines if they want to. From your tiny garden. Big things from a tiny garden. Yeah, we're going to sell this. I'm not going to keep the kunai. I'm going to sell it also. Rest of the crafting materials. Do I have anything else on me I want to leave behind here? Maybe these water bottles. I think I'll leave these little water bottles. I don't need them. Somebody might want to set them up for rain collection. I'm not going to do that right here. I think that's a terrible idea, but we could do it nearby. Put another blueprint on it. Okay. I, don't, I always feel like I'm going to forget something. But that's okay. I'm not definitely not going to buy a pistol. I'll wait to find one. I'll buy magazines and ammo for it. I'm not going to buy the whole gun. Just too expensive on this server right now. But we do have another couple hundred, maybe a little over a thousand dollars worth of car parts and medicine. Hopefully these magazines will catch a fair price. I don't know if the kunai is even worth selling. We'll see what we can get for it, but... I might try and throw it into a zombie's face. We'll see. Okay. Stone axe. We will discard elsewhere. I don't want to leave my tools and my mess right here, if I can help it. Some of the mess is going to have to stay, but that's exactly the kind of signal. If I walked past a random spot in the woods and found downed logs, I would start looking around for buried chests. That's the only problem with that setup right there. Oh, am I missing some of the chat? I am. Hop on the forge later. I might do. Kind of digging this one right now. How's it going today? Yeah, I don't know why YouTube does that. It hides some chat messages. You're on this server with a lockpicking character, huh? The gold locks are one tenth of the iron locks. Okay, hey, I'm sorry I was missing your missing your chats. I don't know why YouTube was hiding them, but yeah, I just switched it over. I wish it would default to live. There's there's no reason for them to be hiding messages right now. That's just dumb. Absolutely just dumb. Whereabouts are you based? Coming over towards B4 with the rest of us. I'm headed to the trader right now. We're going to try and bring this account balance up just another little bit. Slashy, slashy, point, point. <laughs> neat, man. What's the temperature like over there? 
And I know working with metal and heat like that, you gotta always be really dressed up. So I'm curious, are you sweating your face off or is it pretty chilly? Or bold. If I was wearing that much clothing, I'd be sweating my face off even if it was negative 10. We're going to be very close to running out of stamina at the edge of this zone. Kind of taking a risky path in, just going straight. I'm not really paying attention. Come on, get in there. Oh, we're running out. Come on. And we made it. Ten degrees. Forge lit. It can get up to 50 under the work area. Holy crow. Yeah, there's a lot of heat in that thing for sure. So done with winter. I kind of miss the snow. Down here in North Carolina, it's a rare event. I don't think we had any this winter. I don't think we had a single snowstorm. Had a couple of rainstorms. But I grew up in the northeast. Uh, Connecticut area and we would get feet of snow I loved it I love driving in it I love playing in it I don't really love shoveling it that kind of sucks but hey you have a couple of swigs of bourbon and get out there with a the shovel keep you in shape anyway 1600 degrees Celsius plus Wow my great googly moogly sir Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing the well-vented aspect here. And it's basically just open to the outside. Not basically, it genuinely is. It looks like a cozy spot. I'm going to need more coffee before long. Alright, let's get to this mechanic here sell the big ticket items first go sell that scar dmr magazine i can't believe we found that in a police station it's kind of wild what are the police doing with dmrs chill out man tiny little country village you don't need all that Prices are not negotiable. bada bing bada boom if you want me to buy that 1284 Make grilled cheese in two seconds flat? Yeah, something like that. It'll toast your bread. It will toast your bread. All right, you can, you know what, you can have this. If you'll pay me for it, you can have it. And I'm gonna keep one of these compasses. We'll keep the, the one that's in less, less quality. The poorer condition one, so we can get maximal profits. And you'll buy the sledgehammer, will you? Well, guess what? That thing it's all yours. <laughs> Kidding. Nobody 1300 bucks from stuff I don't need. Delicious. Oh. Did you buy shovels? Guns come unloaded. Security reasons. No. Obviously. It's been turned off for over an hour. It's still 200 inside. Cook a pie in that nicely. Yeah, no kidding. That'll curse the pie up short time. Come in. I'll have a look. What kind of pie is the real question? I could go for some pie right now. Like a pork pie? Mm. Sukurbu. Howdy howdy. Things are going great. Good sir. How about with you? Never mind about the expiration date. Just trying to get some cash here so I can continue to die and respawn <laughs> without losing my character. Hello, friend. I'm guessing this is Crow. I'm looking for a Crow. Have you seen one? Good Cornish pastries today. I don't think I've ever had Cornish pastries. I'm going to go sell this shovel. 
Tired but great. Hey, tired's a good way to be. Hopefully that means you had a good day. Welcome I don't mind being Here's tired. That means I'm going to sleep well. Let's see what you have. Sell you this. I'm keeping these. You can have these pants if you want them. That's all yours. And I think I'm holding on to the rest of this. 29 bucks for this shovel. It's almost not worth it, except I just don't want the two kilograms on my back. So, for $87, you can have the rest of what I own, sir. Got to go check this bank card. I'm, I'm just about positive it belongs to Ivor. Cornish pastry is Cornish hen wrapped in bread, a.k.a. a chicken sandwich. I think that's probably a bit of a reduction of uh, uh, an oversimplification, but I get the gist of it. Strawberry rhubarb pie. Mm, that sounds delicious. My family's got a brown sugar pie recipe that is... Entered the wrong pit. What are you talking about? It's just expired, dude. Uh, it's absolutely to die for. It's super simple, and it's kind of gross, but it's delicious at the same time. Oh, you don't know? You're just making stuff up? Look, man, I don't know either, so whatever you say is... is It's just gospel to me. I'll believe it. How am I doing water-wise? We've used a little bit here. Let's remember where I keep my water supplies and go top off real quick. Logic. <laughs> if I don't know and you pretend to know, whatever you know is is right. That's my logic. Top right up here. Bada bing, bada boom. This is a nice bush. I'll be back in like 20 seconds. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to go west towards the next town here, the closest one. That's east. I know what directions are. We're going to go east into this town, look for more lockpicking supplies. It's probably been pretty heavily picked over, but, you know, you got to try, or you'll just never know. I'm not going to keep carrying that. Let's tighten things up a little bit here. Potato, carrot, onions. I don't know what sweaty is, I'm going to be honest. Turn up all diced small with lots of pepper and minced beef inside a pastry. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that sounds so good right now. We don't make pies like that where I'm from. Pie is always something sweet for me. Well, almost always. We do we do what we call pot pies, like a chicken pot pie. That's the only one I know of. And it's really good. It's basically chicken and gravy with some vegetables inside a pie crust. Definitely one of my top choices. We're going to buy a built-on. I haven't forgotten about wanting fishing supplies. I'm just not going to buy them right now. I'm going to buy them when I'm headed back to the box. Which is not what we're doing. We're not making trips back and forth right now. As much as I need to build up my stamina and everything else, I am not doing that. I did. I threw the axe on the ground. It's just crafted, and I don't really want it weighing me down. If I need another one, I'll craft another one. 
at this point, this character is so new, every little bit of crafting and building I do is just making me a better person, so. It's all gain. Throwing an axe on the ground is all gain for me. But the big thing is keeping this gear weight down in between trips so I don't burn too many calories. You know this contraption under a different name. Well, there's different kinds of pot pies, too. We made pot pies when I was in high school, but normally our parents weren't too involved in that process. Comfort food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken pot pie is like chicken soup in a, in a pie crust. I think one of my favorites is uh, shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie is delicious. That's... It's basically a, cry a pie crust. It's a cry pust. It's a pie crust with mashed potatoes, peas, that kind of stuff in it. Is this a friend of mine? You love shepherd's pie. Mm. Do I Do I know this person? Because I kind of want to hack you up with a hatchet. But I know that Crow was here. Are we inside the radius still? Yeah, that looks like the person I was interacting with inside. I'm not going to hack you up with a hatchet. You're welcome. If you are Crow, <laughs> yeah, come, come follow me into the city if you want. Yeah, dude, I want some shepherd's pie too. Do you need food or water? Your wife just made a few shepherd's pies and froze them. What a great idea. Oh my goodness. You know what I might do today? Y'all are getting me thinking about food here. I might I might go to town and get some stuff for a shepherd's pie and make it. Surprise my mom. Gonna eat quiche in a bit. <laughs> I'm planning... A shepherd's pie. Alright, Crow, I'm headed to town. If you want to follow me, you can. Come follow me into my cave. No, that's unfortunate. Well, let's say fortunately for them, unfortunately for my hatchet, that's a friend. She feeds you well. That's a wonderful thing. Am I going in the right direction? I have no idea. We need to go due east. You provide her with stabby stabbies, and she provides you with num nums. It's fair. Right, proper, spoiled. As we all would wish to be, eh? Actually big news in the family. Uh, I've been living with my mom for the past couple of months. I was an over-the-road truck driver, so I had no real home. Um, it was either my brother's house in Texas or my mom's house here in, in the Carolinas that I would stay at when I wasn't driving. And I injured my back while I was over the road, but I was close to here in the Carolinas. So I, I came and stayed with her while I was getting better. And, uh, I was probationary on that job. It was my first couple of months. So I lost the position because I, I had more than 30 days of time off. And now that I'm here, she's going to be starting a bakery in the next couple of weeks. I think I might try and help her, support her in that bakery any way that I can. Since uh, I can fit that in with the stream schedule pretty neatly. And I know it'll make her happy. Plus, I want to see it work out. She's an incredible baker. She makes these cheesecakes that are delicious. Amazing. And that's her, her bread and butter, really. She had a bakery once before that was quite successful. And the main thing she sold were these just delicious cheesecakes. Absolute perfection. You make her lunch every day? Well, that sounds like a fair trade, right? Y'all are taking care of each other? Do I see something red over there? Is that a puppet? What 
is that? Am I seeing the taillights of that Volkswagen car? That might be it. Tell you what, the server's still pretty good and busy right now. So, who knows what's about to happen. Hopefully something exciting. One thing that might happen is me destroying this card. Go ahead and kill me, you'll get some water. That's it. Yeah, I think I was seeing the taillight of the, of the Volkswagen. What, like the, the cleaning and the organizing, that kind of stuff? Picking up after your 15 kids? How many do you have? Yeah, this is definitely what I was seeing. We've got an open door. Opened in. This one is not open. We're probably not going to find anything. Pork belly ramen tonight? That's crazy. That sounds amazing. I'm a big fan of ramen, but usually I just have the stuff that comes in a plastic bag and you mix it into some hot water. That's not because I can't cook. It's just because I'm pure, simple, lazy. Okay, we got the schoolhouse here. Usually you can find a little bit of chocolate or some kind of food in there, maybe a backpack. I'm not going in right now. Doing okay on food. Still trying to lose weight, too. My main goal here is screwdrivers. Eventually, I'm going to find this yellow handle that I'm looking for. You like cooking for other people. Cooking for yourself just isn't the same. I, I can definitely agree with that. One of my uh, favorite jobs ever was working as a, a, a cook. I can't call myself a chef because that's just not fair to actual chefs. But working as a cook... I really love doing that. Getting up the motivation to cook for myself, kind of a challenge. What's your favorite thing to cook, Phil? What's your favorite dish that you make? I guess those might be two different questions, but answer how you see fit. Ooh, is that an energy drink? And 22 ammo? Whoever opened that door didn't come through here yet, did they? You couldn't pass this up. Come on. That's too good. God, I love an energy drink, especially when I'm... I mean, I'm just trying to die of exhaustion over here. Alright, I'm listening. Very carefully. And drinking a little bit, too. I don't think I hear anything. I haven't seen any puppets yet, so who knows if there's actually anyone here or not. Right now, I would guess probably no. You built a, a charcoal rotisserie barbecue and smoker. Open fire cook kit. Oh, that's cool.
custom built open fire cook pits. Cook kits. You were a chef. You were a head chef at one point. No kidding. How long did you do that for? The restaurant industry is a real... It's not easy, man. It's rewarding, but it's tough work. I think the, the my favorite dish that I made when I was working at the restaurant was a either the shrimp or the mushroom risotto. The road risotto in general that we did was great. Another open door here. You left school on and off most of your life till your 30s. Okay. You mean chef school or school in general? I never went to college or um, university. I finished high school. But I did not want to. I was forced to. If I had been given the choice, I would have quit in a heartbeat. My goodness, did I hate school. I liked some of my friends, but most of the teachers were just kind of terrible. A lot of them were decent at teaching. They were just not friendly. I brought a lot of that on myself, though. I was definitely a punk. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Yep, I'm following you. You were cooking on and off until... Your 30s. Yep. It's tough work, man. Really tough, especially if you work at a busy restaurant with high standards, or even moderate standards, just dealing with a dinner rush. You gotta have your wits about you. And there's a reason they call it a rush. When I was through cooking, oh my, I was buzzing with energy. Just absolutely nines and tens. Totally hyped up. It's a great feeling. It was kind of like uh kind of like a runner's high almost. Get like an hour, hour and a half of adrenaline after the fact. And I worked at a bar, so I would finish up, I'd be in a great mood, sit down at the bar and get a shift drink, is what the owner called it. You work for him, you get one free drink at the end of your shift. But if you know the bartenders, well, that becomes two, three, four drinks, or they'll they'll pour you a glass of whiskey. Okay, we hear a puppet now. And see it. I'm going to pick up my... I'm going to be a little bit more careful right now. It takes a lot to get you stressed. Yeah, well, that's that's a big part of it, right? I think that was one of the things that made me decent at cooking. Was that I could keep my cool when things got hot. And I could instruct others on how to do the same. So if I ever stepped back and let the other people run the kitchen, it would kind of fall apart pretty quickly. And I would get compliments when I was there from the patrons. They'd be like, they would tell me that the the food was better when I was when I was the one in charge, which was just amazing. Best compliment you can get. After hours lock in drinks, yeah, buddy. Yep, that became a bit of a problem for me. Not so much the drinking, it was the the people I was drinking with had other habits that I am prone to and have been a bit detrimental in my life. So I've, I've gotten away from that since, and as much as I want to go back to cooking, genuinely afraid to.
I hear something. can't tell if it's just a puppet or if it's a player trying to be real sneaky. I want to hop in a window. Let's try and get some height. Oh, that's a player for sure. Hey, Crow, if that's you, put it in the chat, because otherwise, well, you know, I've got my murder pants on. Okay, all right, all right. Good shout. <laughs> I saw, I thought I saw the kind of parachute-looking pajama pants. Okay, no murder, no murder. I bet you already went through these garages, didn't you? You dirty duck. You got the rabbit mask on? Yeah, you definitely got to warn me if you're going to run around with that thing. That'll get you shot. That mask is creepy. Oh, you did? You didn't have to do that. Thank you, though. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to do that. You, you get what you want. Don't worry about me. I do appreciate it. We got a horde brewing up. If you're near the police station, watch out. I'm hearing at least two puppets right now. And all this searching I'm doing is probably going to set them off. I think I got away with it. Oh, uh, you got the helmet. Quick work. Now I just have to hope that the Chinese aren't here too. I trust Crow. I don't trust the dang Chinese. Oh my gosh. Do you guys hear that? I'm in danger town right now. Ooh, MP5 RPK magazine. What's up with this police station? Oh, wow. 1911 mag. That hat's in decent shape. We might be able to sell it. Ooh, an 11 out of 20. I'll take that. Nothing but Chinese on this server, man. I'm telling you. Which I wouldn't be so bothered about if the lag wasn't terrible when you get around them. That's what kills it. You try to do an event with these guys, and they just rubber band all over the place. You think you're shooting them, and then they just disappear, and they're somewhere else entirely. And it, it jacks the whole thing up. kind of ruins the fun. Not all the way. I still love the events. Okay, more matches, more bobby pins. I'll take the bobby pins. I have enough matches on hand. Found a wheelbarrow. Yeah, that's probably on the, the east end of town, right? You can have that if you want it. We're not using it. Pawn pulled it out from somewhere, but he didn't take it with him. I think those are pretty good for building strength, right? You can go around just filling them up with whatever. Can you bury a wheelbarrow? I don't think so. I don't know if you can put a chest in it either. That's a question I never thought to answer. Okay, it looks like the rooftop is open up here. I'm just going to keep creeping. There's definitely some temptation to lockpick these lockers. Oh, wow. Take that. Thank you.
I might I might do it. I might lock pick the lockers. I say we do it. I really want to keep trying those buried chests, but I also really want a handgun. Where are my bobby pins? We get two chances here. That should get two lockers open. Hopefully there's something in here. The fact that I found an RPK magazine tells me it's been a few minutes since anybody did this. Yes is off. Let's try that again. There we go. Still took too many tries, but could have been worse. At least we got in. Ah, oh, gosh. Garbage. Totally wasted. Totally wasted. M9 mag. That's something anyway. A whole bunch of puppets around here. I don't know, Crow. Keep your eyes open. There might be more than just us. I'll watch for the puppet mask. And you got the spear on your back, too. I'll keep an eye open, but... I'm hearing two or three at least. Two or three puppets. I guess the police station is a hot spot. Here we go. Just one. As long as I don't get a horde. If I get a horde, I'm going to have to do something drastic. I'm not really prepared for that. I think a horde without a handgun is almost certainly a death sentence. Did I search all these? Not all of them. Come on, cash. No dice. Jack and Jill went up the hill, each with a buck and a quarter. Little boy blue. Hey, he needed the money. Sorry, I said dice and I immediately thought of dice clay. Okay. That's the police station done and dusted. Nice crappy old flare. You know what? I know what to do with these. Where did it go? Did it just disappear? Take it in hand. This is what you do with a flare. Oh. Never mind, you have to light it first. That's not what you do with a flare. Is he coming for me? I think so. I got bad news for you, bud. That's the worst decision you ever made. It's all worthless. The lighter on the ground. I found out today, lighters are heavier than matches. So if you're trying to minimize your kit and you want to keep fire available to yourself. Ooh, nice cleaver. I think matches are the way to go now. Lighter is definitely cooler, but the matches are like a third the weight or, or so. I think about a third the weight. Alright, I don't think I hit this yet. Let's get in here. Yeah, right. Somebody locked that door. Smart of you. That wasn't a waste of a lock at all. Did we hit this whole town? I feel like there's a garage or two we might have missed. Good news is I still have all these arrows. Oh, yep, look at this. I don't think 
I don't think I went in here yet. Alright, let's hit the military tents. Maybe we bump into Crow there. Who knows? I also need to find a bush to do my business in. Nature calls. This is a noisy problem to have. Let's try and end it quick. Oh, you know what? Let's turn this down. It gen it is really loud, the sound he makes. <laughs> So loud. <laughs> Did he laugh about that? That's kind of funny. Okay. Bring this back up to... Right there. That's good enough. Close enough. Close enough for the girls we go with. Where are these tents? Probably running right in like this is kind of crazy, right? Got 130 fame points. No complaints there. Nothing. What is, what is that? Almonds. A box of almonds. Good enough for the girls you bring home to mom? There you go. As long as mom approves. That's what really matters. I think that's good enough to sell. Definitely not good enough to hold on to. But maybe we can get a buck or two. MRE. Very nice. MP5 rail, that's in really bad shape. I don't know if we'll even get a buck for that. We'll have to try, though. M1 medical helmet, I know we won't get any money for that. Nothing in here, right? We're just going to leave that on the ground. All right. We're going back to the trader. We're going to sell what we found. Still haven't found a yellow-handled screwdriver, but it'll happen eventually. And then we're going to go back to our box with some fishing supplies and get a fishing reel set up. That way we don't have to continuously starve forever. We can at least start up with a little bit of protein in our bellies. Protein's looking good right now for me. All these calories. Is that the biltong? Must be a ton of calories in that. Yes, sir, we'll be here. Yes, sir. If the helmets are less than 50%, they're worth zero. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. I've noticed that they're one of those things. They're worth decent money in good shape, but under a certain percentage, they become absolutely valueless. Makes you wonder how much protection you're getting from a, a poor condition helmet, right? There is something I want to check whilst we're here. And that's going to be this other gentleman's house that we broke into. I want to see if that door is locked again or not. The thing with those buried chests is we pretty much have as long as we want to open them up. So we don't have to rush them. Whatever's inside will still be there for us. 
but if this guy's house is still unlocked, we should come back here as often as we can and try and unlock his wheelbarrows. They're both full up. What they're full of, who knows? It might just be logs, but... You just had an unkillable mega puppet. Did it kill you? I've got some bandages on hand if you need help. I'll turn around, come help you. A mega puppet. Sure it wasn't me? I've been called that in the past. Now, if I was this guy, and I came back and found two of my chests missing, and a door unlocked, I might just place a landmine rather than lock the door, assuming that the people who took my things would come back. Died on landing. Oh my gosh. That sucks. Do you have the cash to sector spawn? I can go get your stuff for you. You tell me where it is. Oh yeah, he relocked. Okay. So he knows. He knows we ganked him. I wonder if he's going to put more locks on now. His wheelbarrows are all gone. Sorry, bud. Not sorry. Yeah, tell me what I can do for you, crow. Not worth grabbing the stuff. I'll get more on the road. All right. Well, hopefully you land safely this time. Let's go sell what we have here. Don't need this cleaver. Ours is in much better condition. And it's got a history, right? Sentimental value. The only way I'm going to give this cleaver up is if somebody pries it out of my cold, dead hands. Which they might do. We got a couple bucks worth of stuff here. Probably not all that much. Surprised the caffeine boost didn't help. Okay, exhaustion's kicking in. Let's just drink the rest of this here. The worst was when you land in the top of a tree with no chance of surviving the fall once you move. Yep. Yeah, I had something like that happen recently. I can't remember exactly what the situation was. Oh, it was it was during an event. I respawned at the top of a tree. I have no idea why that happened. Fell like 20 feet. I have hit trees while I was parachuting. Yeah. I think you have to try your best to aim the parachute away from them. I think that's what they're expecting of us. Where even is this trader? I'm not paying enough attention. I need to go basically south right now. South will get me there. There's the road. What? What am I doing wrong? My navigation right now is shot. Power lines ever get electrified, that would lead to some funny moments. Yeah, it sure would. Oh, that would be hilarious. I can imagine the animations right now. Getting zapped on your way in, parachute catching fire. Yeah. Yeah, that would be very fun. It would also be super annoying, since respawning is pretty consequential, especially early game. But I would definitely accept that as a mechanic. I'd also like to be able to walk along the electric lines. If you can land perfectly on them, that would be fun too. I would take either as an option. All right, what have we here? Seven bucks. Who leaves cash on the ground? You're crazy. 
and wheat flour, too. Why? Who? Oh, I need to go get a card. Make sure I cut mine up, thinking maybe somebody would, uh, kill me in that town. That didn't happen. But for a hundred bucks, anytime I'm going into a situation that I'm uncomfortable with or, or concerned I might die in, I'll just spend the bucks. Totally worth it. Alright. Alright. Did I come out of there with any medicine? I don't think so. Came out with a couple of good things from the police station. And some stuff for the general goods guy. I don't know, three, four hundred bucks maybe here. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse around. Uh huh. I guess I'm not gonna sell those, but I don't need to keep carrying them either. Uh huh. These two knives. I'm gonna sell this wheat flour, this soft drink, these two padlocks, this needle. I'm holding on to these matches. I think that's everything. Let's see what you have. 220 bucks. It all adds up. That covers the cost of the card, right? Alright, I said I was not going to buy a pistol. What's up? Yo, what's up? Guns come unloaded. I Thank said that, reasons. didn't I? Obviously. But here's an M9 magazine. Maybe I could do it backwards. Instead of buying the ammo and magazines, what if I buy the pistol and find the magazines? We're getting we're getting pretty well geared up here as far as money goes. We've got a decent amount of cash in the bank. Let's just see what it would cost. Nineteen bucks for this MRE that would probably make me sick. Registered. Okay. <laughs> Kidding. Nobody cares. Seven hundred and eleven bucks right there. Let's Guns just look. Security reasons, obviously. What if we got an HS SF19? Ooh, that one's really expensive. Block 21 is 1,900 bucks. Huh. And the M9, two grand. So it's only about a hundred dollars difference between these two. I think I'm gonna buy this. The mag, the, the ammo is super cheap. Is this, are things cheaper on this server? I feel like the economy is easier on this server than the other one. I'm starting to think one of these servers was lying about being an official server. Okay, that's thirty-four hundred dollars. The only thing left to buy is the suppressor, which is almost as much as the gun. That's a big chunk of change right there. But I already have a holster. I think I'm going to do it. I don't like spending all this money. But I think it's going to be worth it. If we get into a, a real situation, I'll be happy to have this. Unpack some ammo here. I've got a toolbox back at the chest that we can use to repair this one magazine. A, f a few World War II bunkers might get you enough parts for a long gun. You know, that's actually, that's an interesting idea. I have not considered that. When I was hitting World War II bunkers on my last playthrough, I didn't realize you could disassemble guns to get parts out of them. And then use those to repair guns. Oh, do you buy this thing? Guns come unloaded. Security reasons. That thing registered. You don't buy that. <clears throat> Kidding. Nobody cares. Yeah, that's that's an interesting idea. The long gun, kind of. That might be the way to go. I wonder where are the World War II bunkers around here? Are they mostly coastal? Seemed like most of them were kind of coastal. Uh, let's pull up the interactive map. And we need to switch our filters, we can get rid of you and you, I'm not worried about any of that stuff right now. 
World War II bunkers. Oh, there's one on the island. That's probably death to swim over there, right? There's a couple up here. Top corner of B4 and B3. Maybe we go hit those. They're all over the place? Yeah. Yeah, they are all over the place. I just haven't, uh, haven't really spent the time to look around this area. Need that. What will you give me for this bedroll? 181 bucks. The thing is, I kind of want to use it. I want to see if I log out on top of it, will it be there when I log back in? Because you can get rest from this, which means I could start sleeping in the woods. We're going to hold on to the bedroll for now. I think that'll be useful to us. I'm kind of enjoying this primal playthrough. The early game here. The pistol's really just for players or hordes. I'm not going to start relying on it yet. I I like using the bow. I've got a kill with this bow now, too. Alright, 270. Yeah, we're doing pretty well here, money-wise. Considering we just bought this thing, too. You're too heavy for my pants, huh? Alpha, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. You're coming and going from the stream? Is that because the stream's cutting out? Or is that a choice that you're making? Stream health looks okay on my end. Let's see what YouTube says. I do appreciate you being here, even if you're just popping in and out. That's absolutely fine. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, all right. Yeah, I've been making changes to the stream setup, so I'm making sure nothing's broken on uh, my end. Is this your first time in chat, Alpha? You've been watching your videos for some hours. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. You're enjoying what you're seeing, I assume, right? Now, do feel free to join the Discord. I post little clips and stuff in there. Content that really only goes to the Discord. There's nowhere else to find it. You need a gaming setup in your car? Yeah, and you need a driver, too. <laughs> The laser disc price, right? Oh my goodness. What a blessing those laser discs are. We need to go up here, I guess. I was going to run back with fishing supplies, though. Let's just put that kit together, see how much it's going to cost. We're only buying the good stuff here. We're not going halfway. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right. We'll go halfway on the floaters. Check your craft menu, then look for the explosives craft. The B3 barracks, Quans at Huts, and the naval base might be solid places to grab firearms for that trader as well. Barracks would get lots of clothing. Yeah, okay. For the explosives craft thing, what do you mean by that? Are you talking about the um, using the laser discs for crafting explosives? I don't need bait. We can we can make bait for free. I want the thick stuff here. The point five, right? Yeah, okay. I do know about that crafting recipe. On some on the other server we were saving those laser discs. On this server, because we're so early on, I'm just selling them. Oh my goodness. See, this is the problem with fishing supplies. We've got floaters, reel. Good line, good hooks. 3680 bucks. Do the hooks matter? Hey, sounds good, Crows. I'm probably going to wrap the stream up before too long, but I'll be back on this evening. I'll see you one way or the other. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, it really hurts, man. 3680 bucks. But it's basically infinite food, right? Yeah, I don't think I've noticed a difference either. I don't think I have. So we could cut the, the price down quite a bit like that. You need the good reel. You need the good line. You don't really find too much of this point five out in the world either. So it's not worth holding out to come across it. We could probably 
I'm sorry, I keep bumping the microphone. I'll stop doing that. Uh, we could probably craft our own floaters, but I'm also not finding corks right now for some reason. So I think, I think I'm just going to bite the bullet here. Let's buy this stuff. I've already got the fishing rod. To have that continuous source of food, I think it's well worth it. All right. Um, here's another thing about carrying the gun. It's going to weigh me down. It's one of those things that just takes takes up a bunch of weight. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to figure out where that magazine went. It's in my hand. All right. Let's. I want to play with something for a second here. Can I make enough room for my bow? And then I can hot bar the bow. If I really trim things down here. Then it makes it very difficult to tell how geared up I am. I just don't quite have enough room for this. But we could drop we could drop a box of bobby pins. We don't need all these. Look at that. There's a wooden arrow on the ground. That's funny. Uh, if we drop that and move this. Hold on. Tetris. Tetris breaking my brain. I can do it. I can do it. What do I want? I want this up here. This down here. Yep, I can do it. Boom. Just like that. I can. I can equip the bed. I'm just playing with the idea of making it look like all I have is a mask and a backpack. So that people might be less likely to attack me. But yeah, I can equip the bedroll. Alright, we run naked. Oh, speaking of running, you know what I haven't done is repair any of this stuff in a while. Yeah, I don't know that it's a. it really matters if I'm geared up or not. Just kind of, for a second there, I thought, hmm, I wonder what would happen if... And so I executed. Now, I've gone this whole night without using the leather jacket, and I'm not freezing. We might sell this jacket. As far as I'm concerned, if I don't need it to stay warm, it's just taking up space. And adding weight. It's pretty heavy, right? 2.3 kilograms. I'll put it... I won't sell it. I'll put it in the box. Even if I don't want it, somebody else might. And it's uh, it's been repaired, so... We'll see. Where am I going now? I want to go southeast... I think I want to go more east than south. We're basically going in the right direction. Keep on a rocking. Keep on a rolling. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Limp biscuit, anybody? You haven't been checking the wine racks lately. They used to always have corks. I have checked a couple. Um, I'm not focusing on it, though. I really haven't been spending much time looting houses, so that could be a big part of why I'm not seeing any corks. Haven't heard Fred in years. I did see something about Fred Durst in the news, I don't know, six or seven months ago. I can't even remember what it was at, at this point. But he got his name back in the news somehow. It's just one of those days. I remember the Chocolate Starfish, the hot dog flavored water and the Chocolate Starfish album. I owned that as a younger man. I listened to it quite a number of times through and through. There were two different, was it Roland? There were two different versions of it, the Urban Assault and the Air Raid or something like that. Interesting stuff. The Cookie. Yeah, that, that, that band was pretty good. If I had to compare them to someone, I'd say they they were kind of in the ballpark of, of Lincoln Park. 
right? Not exactly like Linkin Park, but that sort of experimental kind of rap rock crossover, late 90s, early 2000s, electronic. It was a lot of fun. Good music. Him and Manson, too. And Linkin Park, I can barely even listen to them anymore. I don't know if it was the mood I was in as a teenager when I listened to them that ruins it for me now, or just uh, other circumstances around the music, but as much as I love Linkin Park, I immediately get sad. It hurts my little heart. Alright, time to build survival skills. Have all these logs despawned? That's kind of nice to know. They disappear pretty quickly. Good times, good tunes. Yeah, indeed. Y'all know Breaking Benjamin by chance? Probably. They were pretty popular. Uh, what are we doing? We're cutting this into small sticks. There's a band I mentioned in stream yesterday, but I'm, I'm going to shout them out again. If you can find them, I'm sure the music is out there somewhere. They're called Rooftop Manor. I encountered these guys at an underground Battle of the Bands show in New York City in like 2011 or 2012. See you tomorrow. I will. I'll see you there. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Rooftop Manor. They they had a very unique sound. And thanks for the, the help, by the way, Alpha. Mentioning that. I'm going to look right now, now that I'm settling in here. Very, very cool band. And they I think they only did like one kind of sample album. They never got big. But the sound that they had was just hauntingly beautiful. Absolutely amazing music. I think it's the laser detonator. I can't remember. Does the motion sensor use it too? Huh. Yeah, really good music. I wish they'd stuck together and kept going. I think they could have gone somewhere. And their sound was unique. And just otherworldly. Anyway, that's it. Rooftop Manor. If you get the chance, if you find them, definitely worth listening to. Oh, look at this. There we go. Maybe if we get enough buzz around them, they'll come out with another album. And it's not going to happen, but that would be amazing. Worth the listen, y'all. Even if you don't like them, you should just hear them once. And before anybody asks, I have nothing to do with this band. I only met them one time. I don't get paid. I don't promote for them. I just genuinely like their music. Are you fake? No, you're a real tree. Mmm, coffee. Breaking Benjamin, man. Yeah, they they did some really good music. The Diary of Jane. That song. That song gives me feelings every time I hear it. It's not always that mayhem has feelings. Music's one of those things that draws emotion out. I think music is purely an expression of emotion, really. Which is why it does that for us. And it's one of the reasons it's so universal. Obviously, different cultures have their own, uh, you know, their own way of making music and their own stuff that they appreciate. But it does seem everywhere you go, music is a part of culture. It expresses something about us. I haven't listened to enough music lately. I need to start getting back into it. Just nothing like it. It'll give you energy. It'll draw people together. How many times have you made friends because of a concert or...
because you were listening to the same music in high school. Or a new a new coworker comes in and that's one of the first things you talk about. You know, what kind of music do you listen to? Lately I got into country, which when I was a younger man I never thought would happen, but country's got some there's some good country songs for sure, some good good messages and uh, good tunes, easy to listen to. Some of it's really deep, some of it's just kind of party music or kicking back, relaxing music. Okay, I think we have what we need now to make this shovel. lose anything? Nope. Might as well take the rope, right? We'll dig this thing up, pull out the rod, see if we can't catch a fish maybe, and then have us a campfire down by the, down by the ocean. Maybe we'll find a stretch of beach. How close are we? Just got to cross the road. Yeah, there's a couple spots right there. It's going to be a little bit dangerous, probably. Draw attention to ourselves by lighting a fire and all that, but... Got to cook. Man's got to cook. I guess we could eat sashimi, but... I'd rather cook it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, this jacket... I'm going to wish I had that. Pistol goes in there. Where's my spare magazine? Right here. Let's start attaching things. Fishing. No, 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 no. Okay. Oof, for a second there. For just a second. I thought maybe this isn't going to work. Floater. We need a hook. And we gotta find some bait. The rest of this, just fine how it is. Right. My brain's shutting down. I'm losing my ability to process information. We're gonna bury it. We're burying it. It's gonna come back. The brain's gonna start working again. I gotta get some food in me. I haven't had any breakfast yet. Normally I try to eat only one to two meals a day because I'm not a very active person. And since I've been getting older, it's been getting easier to put on weight. When I was a young man, <laughs> when I was like late teens, early 20s, I did an experiment at one point trying to see how how much I would have to eat to gain weight. And it was ridiculous. And I have since run that experiment back and found out that as I get older, it becomes a lot easier to put on weight. Sometimes I do the experiment by accident, and that's the worst. Yeah. Yeah, you look in the mirror one day and, and think, huh, maybe I should step on the scale and consider some of my life decisions. Did I really need to eat the whole bag of donuts last night? Easier to put on, harder to take off. Yep. Yeah, at some point you start getting very comfortable with being hungry, and that's about your best bet. There's a saying, you can't outwork a bad diet. It doesn't matter how much exercise you do, you can always eat more calories than you can burn. And the thing that happens to us that causes us to gain weight, in my opinion, is we get so used to having full stomachs that we, we become uncomfortable with the feeling and idea of hunger. And so that's what I try to do days like this, where I'm focused, is accept the hunger, embrace the hunger, but I don't want to starve myself. I make sure I eat. Okay. Vineyard right here. It's nice. Yeah, it's probably about that time. I gotta find some protein or something to put in my belly. Get in my belly. 
Ooh, as I said that, I got a big old rumble. Okay, we don't need any of that. I'm going to have to definitely look through my stream archives and try and figure out where that flag was that I so hastily overtook without thinking. Because we definitely don't... We don't need to have a flag in this squad right now. We want to be able to place one intentionally somewhere. Nothing. Come on, dead logs. You know what I need. Just give it to me. Can I have a cricket, please? Or some larva? Anything, really? I'd take an earthworm right now. Can I dig for earthworms? That is that a thing you can do? Search for rocks. I remember finding earthworms at one point, and I can't remember how I did it or where they came from. Excuse me, I need bait. I should have just bought the boilies. It's like sixty-eight dollars for the bag. That was so silly. This one's gonna have crickets. Though. This one's going to have crickets, though. No, this this one here is going to have the crickets. I was mistaken. There's going to be maggots in this one. Maggots in this one? Hey, a cricket! A grasshopper. Is there a difference? Is there a difference between crickets and grasshoppers? On the riverbanks. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that I remember that. Went back to worms and meat bait. Well, Gary H, you're in the right place because I can actually teach you how to reel in any fish. That said, I'm not guaranteeing this is going to work, but I think I've had about a 70% success rate. Something like that. We'll see what we get here. We're probably just going to get a small one, but we'll turn a small one into a big one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this not the biggest line? I didn't even get the best stuff. Oh, what a rip. My method might not work. I can't see. Uh, something's not right here. I can't see my floater. Where is it? I can't see it at all. There, now I can see it. Okay, I can see it. Oh, this is the good line. Okay. There we go. Hey, that worked out, didn't it? We're going to keep that. We're going to cut it up. So the, the strategy, when you get a fish that's too big on your line, what you have to do is use the shift mechanic where you can, you can scroll faster. You can reel in faster if you scroll while holding shift. Make meat fish bait. You get a little bit of grace period before the line breaks. So you can shift scroll the line in and then regular scroll it out. So shift it in, regular release. And that way you slowly bring the fish in, you average in over time, and if you do it quick enough, your line won't break. I'm not saying it's easy, but it can be done. Hopefully, I can prove it here to you. Yeah, it's, it's a nice thing to be able to do. Where is my line? There it is. It's really hard to see. Got another little small guy here. Making this look easy. Where's the big fish? Come on, give me a 20 pound, 20 kilogram tuna. That's what I really want. There's my floater. I can just barely see this. I really doubt you can see it on stream. 
It's just the littlest red dot out there. I'm like moving closer to the monitor, squinting my eyes, trying to keep focus on this thing. There we go. We got one. It's another little fish. That's all right. It'll happen eventually. Boom. All right. Let's see if we have space in our inventory. Oh, yeah. These little ones fit no problem, huh? We need to make a little bit of a campfire. We went fishing for an hour yesterday and caught nothing. Are you talking about in the game? Because that sounds crazy, my guy. Did you have bait on the line? What kind of bait were you using? Boils? Okay. And you know you gotta watch the bobber and when it starts bopping, you have to left click to hook it, right? You gotta left click to hook the fish. That ain't right. It should work for you. Really? Did you break any lines? Anything? Or you just never even got anything on the line? What do we need here? We need five sticks. Guess what? I'm your man. If anybody could get you sticks, it's me. I'm real good with sticks. Dude, that's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, one server, no breaks, never got a fish on it. Huh. Were you at the ocean? I know these are probably silly questions, but I've gone fishing with people before and they just didn't they didn't know how to do it and uh we're at a pond. Maybe it was too small of a pond? Near my base. Yeah, I don't know, man. That doesn't sound right. It should have been working. Okay, we need a little tinder, I think. I don't have any anything else, but that's no problem. Craft some tinder. Yeah, truly, man. I'm sorry to hear that. That's the worst. Yeah, an hour should be... I mean, you could probably get three achievements in an hour. You saw fish in the pond, just nothing hooking. Yeah, it must have been a bug. I can't understand that. I never, ever wait. Never wait for fish. Time of day used to matter. Started at nighttime, continued until daytime. I mean, I've caught fish at all times. I don't. It might matter, but I don't think it would stop it from working. That's that's really really messed up, man. Return the game. Get a refund. Oh, are we not? Can I not? Am I too far away? What's going on? Food. I gotta do that, okay. I'm just gonna drop this on the ground. Oh, all the things. I don't have any salt or pepper yet. I probably should have bought some salt and pepper. That would have been wise had I thought of it. Time of day will factor which fish you get. Okay. But you can still get fish any time, right? Any more sticks over here? I'm gonna have to keep feeding the fire, I'm sure. Let's cut up some more sticks. Oh, it's going to be nice to have a supply of protein. Energy's doing fine, really, but the protein's dropping fast. Let's 
pull the mask off. Let's eat a little bit of the biltong. This stuff decays really quickly for a, a dried meat product. I would expect it to last a little longer. Most certainly does not. I would give anything for a glass of ice cold water. Oh, uh, you need some water? I can get you some water. We bought it November 9th, 2019. Catch all fish times a day. Fish all times a day. Yeah, they are everywhere. Yeah, I should have brought I should have brought salt. I didn't didn't even think of it. it was silly of me. I was watching last night after my stream ended. I was kind of looking around my channel, and I, I was watching my earliest live streams. My first live streams on my channel were scum, and they were just really not good, <laughs> not good live streams. But it was kind of fun watching some old videos and seeing. This was going back to 2019. The backpack, the inventory system, all of it was so different. Is salted meat still a thing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what ham is. They call it cured. Of course, they use different salts now. It's not sodium chloride. It's potassium nitrate or whatever the heck they pack things full of. But yeah, definitely. Salted meat is still a thing. Gefalta fish is a salted fish product. Um, I would say probably beef jerky could be considered salted meat. It's not, it's not exactly like they used to do it, but it's the same concept, right? Dry the meat out and uh, and use salt to preserve it. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. Sorry, Gary. That's my bad. Let's see. I don't think so. I've never seen a recipe for it. Grilled only, right? that fish on the ground. Put a small log in the fire, keep it going. It'd be nice to have a couple of skewers. This salted steak's still a thing. Hey man, if you were here, I would expect you just to smack me on the back of the head. Say, what the hell, Mayhem? I know what food is. Yeah. Oh, all this talk about food, man. I'm getting real hungry. Metabolism. 33 grams. Biltong's pretty good food. What's our exhaustion doing here? The biltong doesn't seem to give much of a bonus to uh, exhaustion, though. Sadly. And if we had a little salt and pepper, these would do very good for boosting up our or, or for preventing the, the exhaustion growing. Alright, we have to undo some of the inventory, I think. Do this, this, bring you in here. I don't know how long these, these fish are going to last, but the good news is... Oh, you know what? We can just turn this right into bait. Bait does not seem to really decay. Buy a weekly wipe, huh? How long does it take you to do that? Is it just a command you can run, or do you have to uh, do you have to be hands on about it? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't ruin my fish. I worked so hard for that. You know how long it takes to make $3,000 on this damn server? Yer. There we go. Go ahead and have one right now. Why not? Has a panel to do it, but you need to delete and send and send commands manually. Gotcha. So, it takes a little bit of effort, huh? Do you make any money off that server? I, I, if that's a question you don't want to answer, that's fine. I'm just curious. Is that a way to make money, or is that something you do just uh, for the heck of it? 
Alright, I think we're going to call this fire done for now. I've got a skewer on me. We can get more fish easily. We're going to run back towards where we keep our stuff. You have a couple VI VIP help sponsor. Okay. So those are... Is that a, a mechanic in the game? Like, on the server, VIP? Not doing it for the money. Yeah, but it costs money too, right? So if you're going to do it for a long period of time, you're going to need to monetize it at least a little bit. I think it's okay to make money doing things, especially if they're things you're good at. I don't think there's any shame in that. The only shame would be if you were... If you put the money first, right? The craft, the art... Whatever, whatever the thing is that you do well should be the focus, and then if you can make money as a result of that, all the better. You pay a lot for the upkeep. Hmm. Yeah, I've wondered about that, because all these servers everywhere, I figure somebody's got to be paying for them. And for the most part, well, the ones that aren't password protected don't charge. Maybe the password protected ones do charge for people to play on them. Donations don't even reach the amount you need to pay monthly. Yeah, that's tough. Well, it's nice of you to keep it up, keep doing it. You must really love it. Oh boy, the exhaustion. It's overwhelming. Overwhelming me. Probably don't need to keep these sticks. That fish is almost definitely going to be spoiled. Uh, we'll put the fishing stuff back in the box and then try out this bedroll and see what happens. Doing it for almost four years. My goodness. Wow. Are there players on the server that have been there that whole time? Shoot, you probably know where they live if, if so. Four years, man, that's forever. Forever in video game world, anyway. How old is Rust? Let's just uh, lighten the load a little bit here. Ten years, okay. A lot quit Rust, okay. A lot of turnover, huh? That's cool. Ten years, man. That's something that I think has changed in the gaming industry is the longevity of games, right? Some of these old games don't really stand up to the test of time. They can't necessarily keep their audience, but modern games, the last 10, 15 years, with the exception of World of Warcraft, it's been going on for 20 or whatever. Modding keeps it alive. Well, modding, yeah, I'd say modding does that for a lot of games, right? Botting's incredible. Oblivion is still a playable game if you get the right mods. Skyrim, that one's, uh, what, 13 years old now almost? 12 and a half? 4 to 6 years on, on average, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, fish bait. Let's do this. We're just going to put cash here in the middle. If somebody wants it, they can have it. Um, try and organize this stuff. Cash in the middle. This group of people is so, so nice. I wouldn't be surprised if that cash doesn't get taken by anybody. And I won't be mad if it does. Okay, fishing supplies. There's hooks, floaters line, and I'm going to keep this skewer. Might as well. Uh, 20, yeah, we only need, only need one box of bobby pins, I think, and I'm definitely going to hold on to the extra 9mm ammo. If the stuff hits the fan, I'll be glad to have it. What else? I guess this is pretty much my kit right now. Feels like it's getting more and more complicated every day. I don't love that. After 1,200 hours in scum, 
you're taking a little break and trying new things until the in-game play loop changes a little. Yeah, I can understand that. 1.0 in mod support is an endless loop of bug fixing. Yeah, that's what they definitely need. I've seen the mod community fix all kinds of games. Fallout, New Vegas, uh, Skyrim, and Oblivion both were heavily reliant on community patches. The 1200 are baby hours compared to some of the guys. Yeah, some people really live in this game, you know? Oh, GTA. I never got into modding GTA personally, but I've seen some of the mods played on YouTube. And the things you can do with that game are just the role play and everything else. What a crazy system. Really cool stuff. Yeah, GTA 5 is an excellent game. I had a bunch of hours online in that game. Going back to when I was playing it on console. So many hours online. Ton of fun. Helped that I had uh, friends that would play it with me. My brother, a good friend of ours. And we would just go around goofing. Alright, my friends. I think we're going to call this stream here. I've got some house chores and some food stuff. Things that need doing. But I'll be back tonight. Usual time. Around 5, 5.30. And uh, we'll keep streaming. Hopefully the crew will come online and we'll try and find some trouble. Looking for more player interactions. We haven't seen any anyone today, but that's all right. Until then, I'm Musical Mayhem. This is Scum. Later, guys. Love you all. Crow, Phil, Based, Gary. We'll talk to you all soon. Mm -hmm.